CVA's Acura Series, Agara Barrels for guaranteed accuracy, Nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment is being sponsored by Mowing and More, proudly serving Wilson County for over 15 years. Give them a call for all of your lawn care, landscaping, and irrigation needs. Hi, this week's recipe of the week is being brought to you by Courtney's Restaurant and Catering Business right there at 466B North Mount Juliet Road, the city between the lakes. But instead, while Tom may be making bail money, <laughs> <laughs> we have Chris Bain there. Am I saying it right? You was closer this week. He was closer, wasn't he, Chris? He was closer. He gets closer every week. Chris the B-Man is here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, is that German, Swedish? It is. German, it is German? German Swiss. German Swiss? I hit that first right You, did, you can't box. say it, but you know where it comes from. I know from. where That's it comes right. from. I know it's a word. <laughs> but hey, we're totally going across several atmospheres and hemispheres we, we to come up with it. We we stayed we went traditional and then we went outside the box a little bit. But and first see, thing, first we thing were for, shooting white dove. Right. <laughs> first thing uh, for for Mr. Earl, if you're still watching on those bluegill, uh, get you some corn flakes and crush that up. Put in your flour and cornmeal mm -hmm. on the bluegill, and you you call in and thank us later for that. One. That is a good one. I forgot There's an additional tip of the week right there. No, man, why don't you do that for next week, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> you bring me some blue gill yeah. in, we'll do it. All right. Hey, I ain't make one call to Billy Blackley. I can no. check cooler load. <laughs> but this week, what well, we got some dove. Uh, now, we, I guess on the for the wild game forecast, the dove population wasn't real hot this year. Now, there was a few fields around that probably had a few good shoots, but overall, the, I, I don't think they we didn't have moved in. Ones. Yeah. Um, but we managed to scratch out a few, and uh, what I did, I did a traditional kind of style, I guess, marinated. Uh, the marinade is half Worcestershire, half lemon juice, just 50-50 mix. One bottle of Worcestershire sauce, one bottle of lemon juice. Mix okay. that up, marinate your dove overnight. Um, I use my fin and feather rub on this that I make, but any your favorite barbecue rub will work. Um, or you could just mix up some uh, chili powder and a uh, little cinnamon and sugar, some salt and pepper, onion okay. and garlic in there just for a little rub, quick easy rub. Um, and then wrap it in bacon, put it on the grill, grill it till the bacon's done. And then I put some uh, sweet Asian chili sauce over the top of it just to finish it off. Mm. Good classic recipe for dust. Mm -hmm. The other one, we went outside a little bit. Speaking of outside, you have to cook this outside. A good friend of mine, Chris Daniels, um, their family owns Brentwood Jewelers. If you cook this inside, you're gonna have to go pay Chris a visit because <laughs> you're going, ain't gonna be happy. mama ain't gonna be happy until you go see Chris over there at the jewelry store. So uh, what this is, is a Jamaican curry. Um, you kind of marinate your doves in uh, I chop up some jalapenos, habanero, red bell pepper, fresh garlic, uh, salt and pepper, put that in a bowl, mix it up, little olive oil, because dub doesn't have any fat on it. No, it's uh, little olive oil, just kind of mix all that up together, let it sit in the fridge overnight. The next day, put about two tablespoons of curry powder in, in your mix, stir that up real good, Get you a black uh, Dutch oven, set it out on your propane burner, get it good and smoking hot. And then put just enough oil in the bottom of that pan until it beads up a little bit. And then dump, you, dump your meat in there, um, kind of start stirring it up and get it browned real good. And then you'll want to put um, some water and coconut milk just up high enough to where you don't submerge the, the birds in there, but just high enough where you kind of simmer it. Bring it up to a boil, put the lid on it, and just let it simmer and cook down for about an hour or so. Cook you a cup or two of rice, bring that stuff out, put it over a bed of rice, and you're ready to go. 
Goodness, I got to eat. <laughs> that stuff is good. It is. It is really good. Oh, I mean, that is, mm -hmm. it's a, uh, you know, we can all do the traditional, but that is a great way to fix something different. It is. It, it is mighty good. We've enjoyed it now. Uh, before the show, we're going to enjoy a little bit we'll after. We'll enjoy a little bit after. <laughs> hey, we got to take another break. When we come back, we're going to have a short little calendar and uh, give you some uh, contact information for both of our guests. So hurry back to more Southern Woods and Water.